Here we are. Welcome back on the AM show. Time now for us to get into our Wednesday segment, AM Business. Courtesy of Ecobank, the Pan-African Bank, we bring you another installment of AM Business. Enjoy. Jonathan Kennedy Sower has an aim, improving Ghana's STEM systems through innovative and free educational services. So, with what I saw, the, the challenge I had when I was in school, it started with ICT, so the school wasn't teaching ICT well. We were not using the computers and all that, we weren't having computers, and it was taught on the blackboard. So I had to stop school at, in, in JHS1, around 30 years old, then to start working at an internet cafe. So I started working at an internet cafe because I wanted to get into computing. I wanted to learn more about computers. So it was 13. Yes. So it was true that, that I got to know about robotics. So when I came to the school and I saw that ICT thing again, we were just doing ICT because we wanted to be back. We were, we were not examining on it and then students were not taking ICT very seriously. So I decided that we start a club, we teach programming, because the school wasn't teaching programming. Our curriculum doesn't teach pro programming. So we started doing programming, we started developing our websites, applications, softwares and all that. And then we participated in competitions. We trained some girls to participate in the MTN Apps Challenge in 2018. And then they came out successful. They didn't win the ultimate prize, but they won an innovative award that cares about. So I think the challenge is that when students are able to see the relevance of what they are learning, they are able to relate it to the real world, they get empowered and inspired to learn more. This is the close side, it picks, and then the arm side that lifts it. So this can be used on construction, construction sites. sites. Disaster points everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere. I've come here so how, how to the Laboni Senior High School to meet Jonathan, interact with students of his association. Yes. This is where his dream started as a young student of the Senior High School in the ICT lab with no infrastructure. Today, Jonathan can boast of improved learning and association skills that beefs up the interests of these young students. During the COVID, we tax them to come out with innovations that can stop the spread of COVID-19. And then they, they built a smart hand sanitizer. So you don't have to touch the sanitizer and all that. You just have to put your hand under it. And they built it from recycled plastics and all that. Wow. Yes. Digital skills are critical in the 21st century. Development post-COVID-19 has placed the world of work on innovation, STEM and robotics. For persons like Jonathan, this era of innovation grants him huge opportunities to spread his wings thin. The future of work is changing, it's changing. And then most occupations require STEM skills. So the skills we are building these students with are skills that the future occupations need to be able to do well, to be able to be productive and all that. So I think what we are doing is for the future, it's for now and in the future. A 2019 study by the International Finance Corporation estimates that about 230 million jobs across the region will require digital skills by 2030 and more than 9 million of those jobs will be in Ghana. This is an opportunity that Jonathan seeks to uncover for the likes of these students. It's, it's mostly funded. Yes, because we, we get, a, like many schools approach us for these free trainings and all that, but we don't have the resources. What we can have is limited. So what we have now is limited. So we, we go on out of this. We tell them, okay, we need 30 students to do this program. And you go and they are like overhanded students. So it means we have to run sessions after sessions. We are expecting more of the infrastructure so that many students will develop interest in the program. Harriet Clue Jackson is head of department for the ICT department at the Laboni Senior High School. We are praying that if 
God willing, we'll have the kids and then the facilities to teach the children. Most of them will do very well and then STEM will grow as they have purposed. With an investment opportunity of two billion US dollars, the STEM industry in Ghana is burden though young shrouded with several challenges, including the exposure of young roboticists who are unable to navigate the trends of doing business in the country. This is a challenge that Jonathan seeks to solve. Through his company, InnovTech STEM Center, the young lad crisscrosses several schools in the country to teach students and teachers the intricacies of STEM education through robotics. So what's happening? Okay, so we are connecting. It was connected yesterday. It wasn't able to establish the connection. All right. the, yes. So both the remotes and the bots are both connected to the code. Yes, please. Uh, the coded language, I should say. Yes. yes. Isn't taking the language. It, it is. It's actually a bit. It's not updated. Yes, it's actually a bit. So, how can we replicate this in larger quantities to be used in Ghana? It can so be the same type of yes, robots. Like making a bigger, so making this one the form by which it can be used on construction sites across the country. Yes, it, it can be used. This is actually like a prototype. This is a prototype. Yes, so, so it can be replicated yes, in a so, much more bigger. Yes, so with the analogy with this one, this one's it's the advanced part. So they can just fabricate the metals, get the electronic components, and then build up their own. That's great. That's great. So you guys should just do a little bit of participation for me. We want to see the machines move from here down. Okay. Then we end the whole thing. But who would want to speak to me about how this thing has benefited you? Anyone? Who would like to speak? Moving it in an angle and all that, it deals with a lot of physics here. Yeah. I see. So all these things I'm doing here has to do with physics. Physics. A lot of physics. Yes, please. Perfect. So who do you want to be? Where do you want to be regarding oh. STEM related? I want to be a programmer and I want to set up a business as in a school for girls, young girls like me to come and learn about STEM. Like, That's great. Yes. That's great. So youngsters like her and many others are under the benefits of this innovator, Jonathan, who is making so much out of robotics and STEM related courses. He's much more positive. That with interventions as this nature, he's going to be able to pull a whole pool of investors who are aiming at Ghana's untapped STEM industry. I'm Charles Ayato reporting for Joy Business.